Hi, ask Patrick series. The question is by Vivek Bhattacharya. The question is, is speed max important? Like shortcuts for multiplication, addition, etc. Okay, I'll tell you one thing. I remember I once got into this whole Vedic mathematics when I was preparing for the examination, CAD exam. So the whole Vedic max, I brought the book, studied for some time. And then one of my friends said, let's compete with calculation. You use Vedic mathematics, I'll use normal calculation. In almost all the two digit calculation that he did, he was faster than me. I mean, I used the methods, I was comfortable with it, but he was faster than me. So technically, Vedic mathematics or the speed packs techniques which are there, normally most of them, okay, are useful for longer calculations. But for longer calculations, technically, in the exam, either you'll approximate or in the CAT, you would use a calci. There's no point using Vedic mathematics for longer calculations. So me personally, I'm not very for Vedic mathematics. There will be some parts of Vedic mathematics, like how to find squares or something, which could be useful to some extent. But I would not advise you to focus completely on speed backs techniques because it doesn't help. I've not seen anyone who has, you know, been a master of speed max technique and that has helped him for CAT exam. Yes, people are good at calculations and that is definitely a big advantage for cracking the exam, but comfortable with normal calculations, with using a few techniques that you are comfortable with. Don't try to use techniques of speed max, which may not help you as far as the CAT exam is concerned. Because when you use speed max techniques, you tend to do accurate calculation even for bigger numbers, which will tend to make you slow. Because in that time, approximation could be much faster or using a calci also could be much faster, right? So not for speed back techniques. One more reason why I'm not for speed back techniques is because it takes a long time to learn or master the speed max. Very frankly, I've seen a lot of students who have cracked the examination, scored 100 percentiles, scored a 99 by 9 plus. I have not seen anyone who have used speed max and because of that he has scored very high in the CAT. No. What makes a difference is the methods that you use and the techniques that you use. But yes, definitely all the students are comfortable with calculations. They're able to calculate quickly and you need to spend time on calculations. Okay, but avoid the speed back next thing. Some techniques will help you to do faster calculation you can use. Keep practicing, it will help. But don't spend extra time on, you know, using the te calculation techniques of, you know, speed max which are there, abacus or whichever methods which are there, may not be of great help as far as scoring higher marks is concerned. Right? So learn normal calculations, break it up and solve. That should help. For example, if I say 21 into 32, you can do 32 into 20 plus 32 into 1. Could be easier than maybe using some techniques to try to get the answer. Right. I hope that helps. Thank you.